Hello, folks. Oh, is that creepy or what? Um, okay, so here we are. Welcome, everybody. Hope you are doing good. Well, okay. <laughs> so I did a, I put out a poll and um, told her, asked her, I said, hey, I've got a friend. She's a psychic. Uh, would you like to have me to have her do a reading? And um, so the... Uh, interesting thing about this poll is that a lot of you is you know it was um it was up there it was mixed uh, it was mixed um, i think it got up to about uh, 69 70 percent yes 17 no and 14 said don't believe in psychics so okay so and i and that's fair I, that's that's you know that's what i wanted to know but we did get 70% and I'm thinking, well, we got 70%. So this is what I decided to do. I uh, asked my friend, her name's Marilyn, and uh, she's an old, uh, well, she's a great lady. She, uh, she does um, readings or, you know, private readings. She doesn't have YouTube or none of that stuff. So, but um I asked her, I talked to her the other day, I said, um, I'm gonna, I'd like to do a reading. I'd like to see if you would do a reading on Sebastian Rogers. And she had been keeping up with the case. She keeps up with any case like missing. You know, she's really good about that. And uh, the reason I know and how I know um, Marilyn is uh, way back in the day. She's 82 years old. She's a great friend, but um, I met her, and she actually um, showed me, you know, that she reads cards and all that, and I was so intrigued. Never, I'm not a psychic. I don't, you know, I don't know nothing about, I'm not a medium. I don't know nothing about all that other than what she has uh, told me about it. But it came about, uh, a few years back when Brian Laundry, Gabby Petito, that all that came on the news. And um, I had bought an old set of uh, tarot cards. And I still have them. And I, I asked Marilyn, I said, Marilyn, how, if I wanted to just pull the card, and would it tell me, if I asked something about Brian Laundry, would it tell me something? And she said, oh, sure, it'll tell you something. And she told me what to do and how to do it. So I did it. And so, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, and again, I'm not a psychic, not a medium. Just, I guess, maybe it's a hobby. Yeah, maybe. It's a it's a weird hobby, but maybe a hobby. So I got around one night, and I got my table. I had nobody around me. Lit my candle, had my cards. And it actually was storming in the distance. I could hear the thunder in the distance. I said, oh, this is perfect. Well, I asked the spirits, I said, uh, I need a card for Brian Laundry. You know, his what has happened to him? Nobody uh, had been seen in North Carolina. He'd been seen in Mexico. He had been everywhere. And I said, well, okay, I'm in so intrigued. I got these cards. What is it going to tell us? Well, folks, I got to tell you, oh, Lord. So the card that came up, I'm going to bring you to the monitor here so you can see that this is it. This is it, the Five of Cups. And it was um, it was upright because um, she had told me, you know, there's reversals and there's uprights and all that. So sadness, loss, grief. Look at that. This is the card right here, folks. This is the card, the uh, Five of Cups. Isn't that something crazy, crazy that came up? And you notice, if I can get this a little little bit closer, I don't know, maybe maybe you can see the card, hopefully. Um, This is uh, a person standing there with cups laying there, and two of them there, but looking at water. And... Um, and I, and, I, and I just kind of stopped, and I read this, sadness, grief, despair, abandonment, guilt. I said, oh. I said what? 
guilt, remorse, regret. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I reading here? How is this possible that this card, and I pulled one card. I did, That's it. I didn't pull no more. And it, it kept on reading here. You know, I, I kind of read as much as I could. Negative emotions. One card represents quite a few case five. You can pause it if you want to read all that. Um, but it goes down here. And bad things may seem there as always a silver lining. Uh, you just have to choose to see it. Mm -hmm. But when I saw that, folks, I said, what the hell? I, I mean... God, are you serious? So, here we are to the day. Now, I have to say, I did pull a card um, just for as a hobby. For, um, let's see, there was, um, I don't know, just, you know, like Dylan Rounds. I did one on that. Boy, that was, there was a fight card that came up. So anyway, um, I... Um, Oh my gosh. I said, I asked my friend Marilyn, I said, Marilyn, I'm intrigued by this. I said, if I make a board up or if I make all these things, can we, can you get a reading? Can you get a reading more than just cards? She said, yes, everything that you use, uh, if you, if you want to believe in that, you can, you can certainly get a reading. So, so I put together all kind of stuff. I put, um, dice and cards and 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 she also did the cardamency cards which if you don't know what that is that is where you can tell the tell, supposedly tell the future or the past or the present with poker cards um so i had invested in a set of them i said i don't even know what i'm doing here i said this is crazy that but and a lot of people would say, and my friends would say that they they were intrigued. They want their their. I never will forget, folks. I never will forget this going to work, and my friends, the the ladies that I even in the the fellas that I worked with, they wanted their cards read every day. I <laughs> I am not kidding you, folks. Every day, um, and. I was like, it was at a point where I said, I got to stop. I don't, I don't know. But what I did, I wrote down what the cards said. I, I, I made a tablet. I wrote down what I kind of researched on each card and what they said. So if you don't know a lot about uh, tarot cards, they, they mean, they, they mean the same thing, each card, but they mean a different thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. So I put together a whole bunch of stuff like dice and all this and the cards and and I came up with my own little kind of a unique way of um, asking the spirits, you know, what what is we looking at? Tell me something. Tell me something. Well, folks, listen. <laughs> it turned out that it it tells you a lot more than you really sometimes really want to know about. Um, so. I want you to know that um, I made a video, and um, I'm going to share this with you. And I hope that you, if you folks, if you will, I don't want you to get upset about it. This, this whole world of the psychic world, I mean, it's either you believe in it or you don't. I don't believe that there's any negativity to it. It's really designed for positivity. It really is. If you once you start learning it, it really is. It's kind of like a uh, meditation type thing, and a lot of people don't look at it that way. They it's just been portrayed as like maybe a uh, like a sadism or you know uh, worship worshiping the devil and all. I don't. When I grew when I was growing up and when I was younger, I used to think that because that's what I was told. But I no longer believe that. No, it's it's not that. So we're going to go into this video. I'm going to pause it as we go. And this is the stuff that I came up with. Now, folks, just understand it is entertainment. That's what I tell my friends. I'll say it's entertainment. Um, but it is in interesting what comes up about it. So we're going to bring in the board. Uh, I've got all this. So if you folks are ready, 
let's 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 hit it let's do it let's do it spirits spirits if you hear angels phenomenons angels ghosts okay let me explain what you're looking at so the board here to the left there's the tarot cards the brown cards to the right that is the uh, card immensity cards at the top to the right that is the um, the cards that uh, the oh gosh I can't even think of the, the, what I call them but anyway the um, the gender gender cards I'm sorry it's for a man, a man woman or neutral up at the very top to the left with the eyes on it the cards that is fortune tellers so just so you kind of know I know it's confusing and uh, you probably spooked the hell out out let me tell you I'm going to tell you something folks before we get going I want you to know that this is the most bizarre reading that I have ever experienced I'm not a psychic not a I'm not a medium but when these cards and the dice and everything come up when I show Marilyn and what she told me what this stuff means and what she thinks folks you're going to be shocked so okay here we go we're here bringing you I'd like to bring you into this session this session is for Sebastian Rogers who went missing in Sumner County Tennessee February the 26th of this year of 2024 if we have any spirits here that would like to come in and tell his story or tell us something about his story I welcome you I welcome okay now let me tell you what Marilyn said at this point this is very very important when you dealing with the world of spirituals you know like spirits and phenomenons ghosts and angels you really have to be careful with this because there's a lot of people believe that if you bring in a spirit and you don't release that spirit that spirit can stick around now it can be a good spirit it can be a bad spirit I'm just telling you what she told me believe it or not that's what that's why when you hear me say stuff like it's like oh lord the good spirits and the bad. when you ring the bell folks when you ring the bell <laughs> let me tell you that um that supposedly in the world of um, the psychic world what I call the psychic wilderness world that gets rid of the bad spirits if there's a bad spirit around supposedly the bell they don't like it so bad who knew? spirits go away this is session 412024 for Sebastian Rogers so let's see if we have any spirits okay what you're looking at here this is where I go full-blown and the reason I bought this device because I was going to have a Halloween party years ago and uh, my friends wanted their reading you know done at a table and um, I had looked into this this is a EMF reader it's uh, it picks up magnetic electronic magnetic readings if there's like a an energy close to it it'll pick it up check out what it was doing on this board uh, when I did this Oop. spirits are you here you're welcome to come in let me know let me know if you're here in some way if you could now you see it it's reading are you see here? that oh now when it turns red okay. that's a lot that's 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 a pretty good strong signal you're here so I'm, I'm already getting spooked out I was spooked out when I was doing this so All right. look at that okay yep <laughs> oh, God. here you're here all right okay look at I'm getting ready I'm like oh heck oh what am I getting ready to see so so spirits if you can I need these are the gender cards yeah see that's male female and the male, female and the neutral neutral now the neutral the X one that is um, 
she uses stuff like that. And what it is, she said it could be a man or a woman or a female or a male. It can be a child or an adult that's around you uh, when a neutral comes up. But it can also mean it's just there's more than one spirit there and it can't give you the answer of what, what's there in the presence. So it's creepy stuff, right? Yep. Spirits. Don't go nowhere, folks. Trust me. You're going to want to see these readings. Okay? Trust me. I need to know if they're... Oh, and also, please, as we go for, for this, please just bear with me uh, and just know that I didn't make none of this up. This is what was happening when I did this so reading. Male, female, or neutral here in my location. Give me a number between one and three. Five. Three. Okay, when you get another, she told me, Marilyn told me that when you get another number, and when you ask from one to three, and you get, say, like the five there, um, that rolled first, that that is the, the spirits not uh, relaying to you or not understanding what you're asking yet. But sometimes it takes a few rolls, but they will figure it out. And supposedly they are, you know, uh, creating the energy for you to roll the dice and for the dice to come out of what they want it to come to. So I know it sounds bizarre, but three. So go from the left to the right. So it would be this one right here. Thank you, spirits. Okay. Yeah, and she always said. Thank the spirits when you do things, you know, as you as you go along. And let's see what we have here. <laughs> mm. Now this is a female card, okay? What does it mean? I don't know. But here's the thing I want you all to do. If you know any um, psychic friends or you know, or if you're a psychic yourself, leave a message in the comments. I want to know what you what you think. Uh, I'll try to go back and read these, and, and I may do a video about this, but we got a female on the table. Now, Marilyn, my friend, my psychic friend, she says that this female could know something about Sebastian's uh, situation. So, I was intrigued when she said yeah. that. And a female... Thank you, spirits. I have a female. Now, spirits, I need a uh, fortune teller. Here's our fortune tellers. Okay. So, let me explain the fortune tellers, okay? This is one of these things that I came up with myself because of the Cardamency cards. And Marilyn, she uses something similar to this. Um, and it what it is, each one of these cards has either club, heart, spades, or diamonds on it. So whatever card comes up, that's going to be your fortune of the card immensity card. So, and I'll show you what that is in here in a few minutes there. Spirits, what's, what fortune teller? What fortune teller is going to help us today? I need a number between one and four to pick the cards. Well, let's see. Let me do it this way. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. This one. <laughs> okay. Let's see who we have. Oh, Lester Hanagenia. Yeah. Okay, folks. Let me tell you something. This is, I'm going to upload the, uh, I've got videos on these cards that tell, they're very short videos, but they'll tell you a story about each one of these. And if you're in, interested in, in this at all, um, these are actual uh, fortune tellers. They, they go way back. I mean, they're very old. They're, they're not even with us on the earth no more. They're, they're passed away. But, um, let me show you, get a better 
look here. So this is Lester Halogenia, and I can never pronounce the name right. But he was a, a he was from Korea, I think. But he was a very known um, card reader. And um, there's a story that goes about um, about Lester that um, there was somebody that came in and they didn't believe in all the card reading and all of this. Well, the story goes is that Lester, this this lady came in and she had her card reading and she laughed at him. She laughed at him after the reading because he told her that she was going to uh, have triplets. And she just said, uh, uh, okay, she laughed. Well, come to find out, like, maybe a year later or whatever time it was, the lady ended up having triplets. And so the story is very, very intriguing about that. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. So let's continue. And uh, we'll go in a little bit more about what this card means here. Lester represents the bit. diamonds. Okay, we'll get back to Lester here in just a moment here. Okay, here we go. Make sure you can see this okay. Good. Okay, spirits. Continue on. Bad spirits go away. <laughs> I'm bringing it up there. Spirits, we have the uh, tarot cards here. Will you help me pick one card that can tell us a story about Sebastian Rogers? I'm going to roll the dice. Tell me how many cards to deal out to get to the one. Two. One and two. I didn't have my camera set enough mm -hmm. so, so you can see the dice. I apologize for that. But and let's see what card it is. Whoa. Did you see that, folks? Okay. I'll show you the card in a minute, but it was reverse. It was reverse. I'm going to try to back this up. But uh, you see that? It was reversed. So let's see what it is. Hmm. Six of Cups. Folks, look at that. So, okay. All right. So, <laughs> let me uh, let me go to this screen here. Hold on just a minute. And uh, let's see. I want you to see the card here a little up close. And then we'll tell you what, I'll tell you what this card is. Now, like I said, I just, you know, just asking in the spirits if there's a spirit around me, uh, which I kind of felt. Like there was something going on, but I don't know, folks. But it's weird. Look at this card, folks. The Six of Cup. And you want to know what this card means? <laughs> okay, let's let me show you what this card means. Okay. Okay. So this is the Six of Car uh, Six of Cup Six of Cups. But this is upright. This is the message for upright. We got to go to reverse. So let's go down all the way. Here, my mouse will. There's reverse. And remember, we're asking questions about Sebastian Rogers. You know, what's the situation? And letting go of the past, focusing on the future, maturity, growing up, well, leaving home. Folks, when I saw that, I'm like, I'm, I'm a, oh, 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 she. Independence, roads, um, rose tinted view of the past, boredom, lack of creativity. Uh, Oh, my God. And being uh, stuck in the past, resolving childhood issues, childhood abuse, stolen innocence. Oh, my God. Complaining, um, folks. And then the reading. In a general, this is what it said, in a general context, the Six of Clubs, uh, Cups re um, reversed can sig signify letting go of the past or being ready to move on to the future. It can be an indicator of growing up, becoming more mature, or leaving home. When I saw leaving home, folks, I'm like, holy shit, are you kidding me? It can also indicate letting go of a childhood issue or childishness. Mm. Okay, Six of Cup uh, Reverse can indicate uh, child abuse, childhood abuse, or stolen uh, innocence. Oh my God. 
The minor arc this minor arcana card uh, reversed in a tarot reading can also indicate over overcoming such abuse. So look to the supporting cards for clarifications. Uh, so apparently, I guess you're supposed to maybe um, you know get more cards, but I only do do the one. That's enough for me. It's scary enough for the one. If you have been going through uh, consulting or therapy, the six of cups reveals can or reverse can be a good omen uh signaling that you have worked through the issues of the past and you're ready for the a fresh start alternatively the six of cups re, uh, reverse can indicate that you are stuck in the past or living uh at the past uh even through rose tinted glasses uh looking through the yeah um if uh, this is the case uh, you need to bring your focus back to the present moment and appreciate what you have today. Oh Lord, folks, let me tell you. <laughs> okay. Six of clubs. It comes up. This. It's got children in it. A card. There's what? 78 tarot cards. And this woman holding a cup looking at children. So Lord. Okay, so here we go. Let's continue. I know something. You ain't seen nothing yet, folks. Six of cups. <laughs> okay. So let's yeah. go to the uh, card of Mincy. <laughs> and these are the card of Mincy cards. And this is where our fortune teller, Lester Handelgen, is going to come in and help us here. Yeah, these are the cards I was telling you about. that uh, They're poker cards. But they these are specially made... Um, and I, I bought these years and years ago, uh, but each one of the cards, well, has a, it has a story, but it's a like a right in your face uh, message, I guess that's the way you say it. So, okay, so like I said, he represents uh, a diamond. So we're going to flip through to the first diamond comes to, and that's going to be. Our card for the card of Mincy. It's a spade. So you can see the each one has a, another spade. Different designs. Mm -hmm. Got a heart. And we have a club. And there we go. Ooh. There's the diamond. <laughs> there it is. There's mm -hmm. what we got. Eight of diamonds. You see that? Eight of diamonds. Okay. Let me tell you what the eight of diamonds. Let me get uh, better so you can get a Oops, I'm trying to get my stuff going here so you can see. Um, let's see, go to this. Okay, there's the there's the Eight of Diamonds. Now, when you do these cards, when you look at them, this is what Marilyn says. Um, you need to look at the card. You need to think about what the card means. First of all, the diamonds are is like a represents fire, but it also represents money. Good money, bad money. Um, and then uh, it says on this card, it says a house of good fortune. So that can mean all kinds of things. But we're talking about a house, folks. What have we been talking about and hearing about for the last, what, month or longer about a house? So let's go to the monitor page and let's see. Now, some of this may be misspelled. I don't know. This is from years back. I'll just uh, kind of, this is the readings that um, that I got with each one of these cards. Uh, but let's see, time pieces, large home, packages, yards, and gardens. And there's no reversal on these cards. So, uh, a room with the view and rich neighbors. I saw that. I said, are you kidding me? We're talking about rich neighbors. Yeah, there's, oh, okay. The state is Hawaii and South Africa, uh, South Africa for the country. So um, I don't know why they put that in there, but, you know, it may have something to do with whatever. So uh, it says this is the House of Good Fortune card. This card is about the fortification of something that needs strengthening or protecting. Um, this represents the challenging within yourself card. The Eight of Diamonds is like being something and bringing something into the opening uh, by opening up your own personal doors and allowing good vibes to enter. Uh, can also mean a marriage or travel situation. Oh my goodness. 
that's going on, going to be happening late in life. And for the bad, it could mean financial ups and downs like money in your hands or out. This card heralds the presence of good fortune and success. Test your boundaries, but avoid the pitfalls uh, becoming overwhelming and the power of hunger uh, or power hunger. Hmm. Power hunger. Think about that, folks. Who have we been talking about that seems to have some kind of power uh, hunger? Is it crazy this card come up? And this is uh, what uh, Lester Heligenium, the message. Each one of these cards has a message from each one of the fortune tellers. So, and this is what it says. My name is Lester Heligenia. Your message from this card is, only in the darkness can you see the stars. This message is possibly from what was, what is, or what could be. Thanks for listening to my message today. Please be aware your, of your upcoming travels. Be safe and good evening. Well, folks, what do you think? What do you think? I was really, I didn't know what this card was, but Marilyn, she she told me that, yeah, there's definitely something, a presence about a house, and there's a uh, a money and a, and a power. It's like, Somebody's in charge when this card comes up. Wants to be in charge, rather. So, so moving okay. on. Very good. Very good. Okay. We'll get back to all this here in just a minute. But um, now, spirits, we have our blocks here. These are our ghost blocks. Okay, let me explain the, the ghost blocks. The, this is something I came up with, but I saw this from a old psychic uh, video that I was watching one night, and I said, oh my God, really? That's, that's such a good idea. So, But each one of these blocks, they have a picture on them. And I asked Marilyn, I said, is it possible to get some kind of reading from like a block like this? She said, yeah, any... Anything that uh, has a picture or anything the spirits want to try to, they want to try to communicate with you. So check this out. You're not going to what's believe going on this. Here. This is crazy what's coming up. There we go. Let's so see. there's nine dice, in the, or ten actually with the red dice, but each one of the dice has, you know, there's six photos on there. So those are ghost blocks. So what's the odds of stuff coming up, right? Each uh, one of these blocks, they have the image on them. Spirits, if you can, can you please help me with a story with these blocks? I'm going to roll the dice. Tell me how many, how many blocks to bring out of the bag. Three. Okay. <laughs> All right, check them up. Three. Now I want to tell you that when rolling these, if a dice comes out, it's got a um, that's got a picture of a dice, not the red dice that you saw, but a picture of the dice. Then you have to roll again everything. But what do you see here? What comes up? That's one. Ooh, look that's at that. Two, and the third one. Oh. Okay, there we go. Wow. Thank you, spirits. So let's see what we have here, folks. We have the kind of the smiley, happy face. You can see that? Mm -hmm. mm, it's interesting. This we have the footprint. This really got me. Let's let me um let me see if I can get my photos up. Let's go to the happy happy face. I'm sorry, folks. I'm kind of just trying to get this all going. Okay, so fix motor. Okay, so we'll come back. We'll go to the foot here in a minute. But okay, here's what the uh, happy face stands for. So peaceful, happy, calm, relief, uh, in love, relationships, family, uh, human attraction. So Marilyn said, what word stands out from that? And I told her, I said, well, in my view, family, because we're, we're talking about family. She said, yep, that's exactly right. And um, so the next one, 
get that up. See if I can get that one up. It's the foot. So let's go back to this here. Uh, trying to hit the right button. This one. Look at this, folks. Walk the foot. First of all, we're talking about bare foot. Didn't they? I mean, it's been told that she, that he went barefooted. We don't know if he did or not. But run, a walking, running injury, shoes or footwear tracks new life, folks. What? What the heck? What? Do you, what is that all about? New life. But it's crazy that came up. I'm like, holy cow. So I'll see what the next one is here. Oops, if I can get this going. Barefooted footprint. Hmm. And then we have the reptile. Yeah. Now that one, let me bring up this. I didn't know what the heck, I, what would that mean? I mean, so here is that. Look at this. Reptile moving slowly. Water creature, shelter, and uh, prehistoric. So, what I'm thinking, I'm looking at shelter. I don't know, is that is that possible? So, is that what it's telling us? I don't know. You let me know in the comments what you think these are. But, whoa, boy, I, it, I was already, I was really getting nervous with this. I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> some some might be really trying to Which tell like me something. I'm sure there was so. very slow. <laughs> But wait till you see the last one. We're coming up on the uh, the message bags. Oh, Lord. Okay. It's over here. And finally, spirits, we have the message bag. And I'm going to try to get this over here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Here's all of it. Okay. So if you look here, you can see there's a bunch of, looks like a bunch of paper, right? Well, there's over a thousand and something messages in this bag. And I asked Marilyn years ago, I said, if, it, if I put together a bunch of messages and just pulled them at random or something, would the spirits be able to communicate that way? She said, yes, a spirit would love that, the, to be able to, to you know, bring the energy. So here we go. Messages here. Spirits, help me with uh, some messages in this bag. How many messages? I'm going to roll the dice. How many messages to bring out of the bag? Just kind of mix. I tried up. to get it on camera, but how many messages? <laughs> Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dig deep right there. Okay. No. So you know it's going to be either one, um, in the way from one to six. So it ro I rolled a two, mm. so two I'm messages together, there. and two. All right, thank you, spirits. Yeah. So let's see what the spirit does. Now, two messages. Let's see what we get. See what it is. Okay. So this is the uh, first message here. And it says, oh gosh, he needs your guidance. Check it out, folks. He needs your guidance. I read all kind of things out of this message. Now, were there something there trying to communicate with me? Knowing that I may possibly put this up on YouTube for you all to see? Hmm, I don't know. Well, wait till you see the next one. Look at that. You need your guidance. Let me know what you think. And notice the 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 um the shading of the light. It changed on the camera. She said that when well, she noticed that, she said there there's a lot going on in this picture right here with the with the light changing. That's the old low wow. Okay. I didn't even need notice. your guidance. And second one here. You, I didn't put my glasses on. Let's see what it says here. It says, you are asking the wrong questions. Folks, I like to piss my pants when I saw that. Did I, did, did you watch the video with the uh, Purcell show where he was interviewing, I think it's called Purcell show. He was interviewing Self Rogers, uh, 
And Sebastian's dad, Seth Rogers, says, uh, because uh, so he was asking, you know, what is it that, you know, did they do this, do that? And Seth plainly said, you're not asking the right question. I saw this, folks. I'm not kidding you. I thought, holy, oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. What does this mean? What are we not asking? What is it that we not? I'm just going to say this. Self Rogers, if for whatever reason you watch this video and you get a hold of it, and I know you seem to be a very religious person, and that's great, and I am too. You wouldn't think it doing this, but what do you think about this? What are you? What is it that we need to know? What are these? If there's spirits here or whatever, what's going on here? What is it we, you know, we we're missing? So, oh my gosh, where have we heard that from? Yeah, I was like, you are asking the wrong questions. I cannot believe <laughs> this. I'm like, oh uh, my goodness. Well, there I we don't go, know folks. What to think? So we have. We have the Six of Cups here. Yep. We have uh, our diamonds. Let's just say. Eight of diamonds. Yeah. We have a female talking to us. Don't know what that's in. Mm. And we have the smiley face, the footprint, and the reptile. And the two messages. Okay, folks. So... How about that? That's uh, spirits. I want to thank you. It is now time for you to exit. Yeah, I will ask your assistance again, but it is now time for you to exit this board, this session, and I want to thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, there we go, folks. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Oh, MG, how did this happen, folks? I mean, so anyway, I was, to say the least, I was, I was definitely shocked on this. And I'm like, I don't know, folks, but what do you think? Tell me what you think. Is this crazy? Um, would you like to see this again, maybe in the future? You know, um, I don't do this a lot. It kind of, it does freak me out. And this definitely freaked me out, folks. And I'm sure people watching this is freaked out, too. But it is interesting how stuff like this can come up. Now, I've, I've watched other psychic uh, YouTubers and, and, you know, and how they do them. And they usually, they'll have a bunch of cards out and just all kind of stuff and telling a story from every card. And they'll end up putting a deck of cards and another deck of cards and these other kind of cards and you know to me it just gets too overwhelming i don't even know how anybody keeps up with that but there's people that enjoy it they they get a good message out of it um but i just in my mind i'm thinking well this this is perfect for like a gathering you know of uh friends and i got to tell you when people ask me to come over they say hey bring the bring all your goodies from the uh the psychic world and i said oh lord here we go but um it is it is interesting and i've had people to uh when i do the card and i tell people i am not a psychic i i am not a medium i don't i just read what the cards say you know in my uh book or writing or you know types and stuff i mean i i don't i don't um uh, i don't make it a his uh, i don't make money off of it or nothing like it i just um, I just enjoy it. Just, it's kind of like a hobby. It really is just to study. It's not something I study every day or something, but I am very intrigued by what it, what it kind of deals with. But when somebody asks me that they, uh, say, Hey, will you, uh, will you pull the, I, I had a buddy folks, I'm telling you, you know, you think that a lot of ladies love the card reading and they do, but there's guys, uh, my friends, they, have. Uh, they they secretly want their cards read. You know what I'm saying, and um, and I got to tell you, folks, I I had a story about my uh, good buddy, and um, he he had a 
feeling that his um, that his girlfriend was cheating on him. Well, he said, "I want. Will you read them cards?" And I said, "Well, we can bring them out. And see what they say." So we did, and uh, it had a lot. And I said, uh, and he said, "Well, no, bring them over to the to his place, and his and let his girlfriend sit there, and we'll we'll do it with her there too." I'm like, mm, "Okay." He said, "If there's nothing going on, then I feel like there ain't nothing going on, but I feel like there is." I said. Well, buddy, I don't want to get in no, I don't want to get no trouble. I don't want to get shot. But the thing of it was, folks, I'm going to tell you that this story ended up being that um, we started reading and, and his girlfriend was there and she had her girlfriend. It was kind of, they just, you know, the good pals and all. And uh, so they um she said well you can read his cards first because she was going to have her cards read well the cards started coming up and i only did the like the card of mincy cards and that's the poker cards and um and each card i had to go and read you know because i don't know what they what they mean i just read what it says and it started talking about telephone or you know phones or electronic devices and drugs and 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 we brought up, I think it was like only three cards, like from the past, present, and future. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell? I'm going to get... And she was sitting there when I was bringing this up. She was crying. And I said, uh, okay, we're going to stop. And uh, Josh said, nope, nope, we're not going to stop. And I said, oh, okay. Oh, heck. All right. So we went on and, well, well... A long story short, um, about, a, about three weeks later, he called me. He said, guess what? He said, I found out that my girlfriend had been messaging her boy, that she, uh, boyfriend that she'd been hanging around with and cheating on. And all, and it was a big, and I'm like, I felt bad, folks. I am not kidding you. I felt bad. And I'm like, oh, man, I shouldn't have never done that. But you know what? He already knew that there was something going on. He just wanted to kind of, and what he wanted to kind of confront it. And I'm like, oh, I will never do that again, though, folks. I can tell you that I will never ever do that again. If I ever, when I tell people that if I'm going to do the card reading as a personal thing, you know, it would have to be by themselves. And I really don't do it. Like when I went to work, there was a lot of ladies that want their cards read, you know, and some crazy stuff come up. But, um, you know, I just, it is powerful. I don't know how it works. I don't know what's there that makes it, you know, brings out the information. But you can see that's what came out on this one. So, but anyway, folks, uh, that's that. And uh, let me know if you want to see that again. You may and you may not see it again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of freaked out on that. So. So let's go to our missing. I'm still looking for this poor young fella here. He is uh, in Johnson City, Tennessee. Mark Nichols. Um, he's uh, what they call the old hobo. Uh, and he, uh, I'm still trying to get some more information about him. But if you recognize him and you know anything about his whereabouts, call the 1-800-TBI-FINE. Uh, his family would sure like to get some information about him. He's been gone for a while and... Well, folks, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening. I'm going to go in here and uh, see if I can find me some holy water and sprinkle it on me or something. I don't know, folks. I'm just kidding. I'm just, you know, like I said, folks, I do this as a hobby. It's, it's something that I find intriguing. There's people out there that call it, you know, devil worshiping and all that. And, as you know, I get how they think that, you know, because I don't know enough about it. But... um you know, just I'm the messenger when I'm doing stuff like this. I don't know what it's going to bring up. And I have no doubt, idea, of most part, what the cards mean. I just, you know, I ask Marilyn. I get some of her advice. And I look at my book and uh, or my notes. And I read that. And I'm like, ooh, that's, that's crazy. That's why I don't do it a lot. But because it does bring up some crazy stuff. But let me know what you think. Hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see this again down in the future, down the line. And, uh, well, 
right now, folks, I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening. I appreciate you watching. Give somebody in your family a hug. Tell them you love them because you never know, right? All right, folks, thank you so much. Until next time, this is George. I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.